Hi, I'm James Pearson. I'm a bookseller at Methens Worthing here. Uh, on Monday, the 23rd of March, at 1pm we had an insolvency agent turn up with a employed heavy. We were told that we were, the bookshop was closed, uh, we weren't trading anymore, and that we weren't going to be paid our month's wages and then tossed onto the street. So if anybody's out there who knows anybody who can save a bookshop, a really vital hub of culture in this community, please come on board. So you're all customers um, at Methens here, can you tell us what it is that you really love about the shop? Well because they are such a good bookshop, they will get books for you, especially on the same day, they've, they've always got the latest ones and uh, they're helpful. Yeah, I use the shop a lot to buy children's books for my daughter and my nieces and nephews. And I like the fact that you can just go in and browse and it's, you know, well, it's always open and you can just go in and choose what you wanted. And they had a really good choice. So Debbie, you, you work at Methens. Can you tell us about the moment you heard the news of the closure? We were absolutely devastated. We hadn't been given any warning at all. And it was announced on Friday that the, there would be an insolvency practitioner coming in to see us on Monday. And even so, I thought that the worst case scenario would be that the shop would be closing at some point in the future, but not immediately. And we were trading on Monday morning and the insolvency practitioner came at about lunchtime and it was announced the shop would be closed from there on in. And on top of that, we're at the end of a month and we, our wages wouldn't be paid for that month, which is, I can't even tell you the, how shocking um, that is for me because I have two children to feed as well as myself and I don't know where my next bean's coming from. What, what impact directly is that going to have on you with your family then? The well, I just, I need to sort myself out with another job almost instantly and, you know, even if we are to pursue redundancy and reclaiming our wages through the government, that's going to take an amount of time. I've just paid a month's rent. I have absolutely nothing in my bank. I don't know what to do next.